I am a zebra. My name is Zaina Balani. I live in the UK and my zebra condition is generalized mycenae gravis. Generalized mycenae gravis, or MG, is a rare autoimmune condition affecting only 15 in every 100,000 people and it can affect anyone at any age. There is also no known cure and no known cause. MG affects almost every muscle in the body, meaning that if it's untreated or if it's exacerbated, it can affect your breathing muscles and it can be fatal. On average, it can take between four to five years to get a confirmed diagnosis of a rare disease. However, I am extremely lucky in that my diagnosis only took a couple of months. The reason for this is that my mum is a general practitioner in the UK, otherwise known as a family doctor in the US. This means she was able to pick up my symptoms and recognise it as myasthenia much earlier than any of the doctors I presented to could. However, I was not exempt from the rare disease diagnostic odyssey, as whenever my mum suggested this could be the cause for my symptoms whenever I presented to the A&E, otherwise known as the Accident and Emergency Department, everyone dismissed my symptoms as just being a lazy teenager or just being tired. What I wish people knew about MG is that it's a hidden condition. By looking at me, you wouldn't be able to tell that I need to take medication morning and night to keep me going and to keep me alive. By looking at me, you also wouldn't be able to tell that at age 16, I underwent a major operation to remove my thymus gland. By looking at me, you also wouldn't be able to tell that I had to undergo a biologic therapy which wiped out my immune cells, meaning that I'm extremely vulnerable to all infections and that means that if even I get a simple flu or a simple virus, it could take me much, much longer to clear than anybody else. You also wouldn't be able to tell that I get really tired at the end of the day and my eyes droop and I wouldn't even be able to look straight ahead at my family. You wouldn't be able to tell that I get double vision when I'm tired and that my fingers don't work as well when I want to extend them, whether it's to pick up a book or write, even at university. Prior to receiving my diagnosis of generalised myasthenia gravis, I had never heard of the condition, naturally, as I was only 15 years old. However, this fueled me to want to join medical school and make a change and since joining medical school I have heard of myasthenia. However, unfortunately there's still a culture of not recognising rare diseases as much as other conditions. This led to myself and my sister Fatima and other students in the medical school and the wider university setting up a society raising awareness for rare diseases and their impact called Rare Aware Glasgow. And we want to abolish this culture of just regarding rare diseases as rare because actually they are collectively common and we want people to stop thinking that rare diseases are just rare conditions. Elsevier's Year of the Zebra campaign means a lot to me personally. I think it's a fantastic way to raise awareness of rare diseases amongst healthcare professionals. I hope that Elsevier's Year of the Zebra campaign has helped you and other people understand the impact of rare diseases on people like myself and the wider impact they can have on our day-to-day -day lives and on our families. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.